Community Champion segment for today meets Chief Olajide Victor Akinrele, former chairman of Songo Community Development Association of Yaba Local Council Development Area. On Monday, February 2nd, 1931, when Mr. and Mrs. Akinrele gave birth to a baby boy, little did they knew that their son would make a mark and become a mentor to many in community activism. Olajide Victor was born at a time when the birth of a male child was regarded as a blessing. Baby Olajide Victor Akinrele spent the early days of his life in Ondo State, Southwest Nigeria before fate took him and his family out of their state of origin to faraway Portakot, River State Capital. My name is Chief Olajide Victor Akinrele. My father was an Ondo man, so automatically I am an Ondo man. My father came to Lagos, attended school, and joined the Nigerian Railways in 1926. And I was born on the 2nd of February 1931. I was married in 1961. So my living children now are four by just one woman. Three are in Nigeria, one in overseas. Their mother died in 1984, or 33 years ago now. This I'm almost 87 now, and uh, I don't have to do anything extra beyond good health. Olajide attended three different primary schools in Potakot before he settled in at St. Cyprio to complete his elementary school in 1937. Young Victor moved to Lagos with his parents. He was enrolled at Echo Boys High School for his secondary education. There and then, his passion for politics grew and he began to exhibit the leadership traits inherent in him. I attended St. Cyprian School, UNA School for that court, then St. Andrew School, Umuahia. Going back to Potter Court again, I attended Kunadia School. And finally, I came to West Elisha to for my secondary education. And I finally finished my secondary education at the Boys High School in 1950. After his secondary school education, his intention was to either study medicine or law. But destiny had a script for him. I started work with USC Kingsway Stores in 1951. There I worked until 1965. I rose up to the post of assistant manager before joining Nigerian Tobacco Company in 1965. I was a merchandiser with Nigerian Tobacco Company covering Lagos West and Midwest during those days. And finally I left Nigerian Tobacco Company in 1975 to be on my own. When I was in the East, it was a good community mixture. Our common language in Portacot was Pidgin English. So we understood each other. I read Ibo Abidi, they call it Azundo. I read it at Umwa here. I can speak Ibo the way you, the average Ibo man can understand. Before joining Songo CDA to liberate his community from the shackles of lawlessness, Olajide has been serving his people from the backstage until the opportunity to become the CDA chairman presents itself. To him, community service means making life better by oneself to oneself through self-help. He single-handedly brought electric power transformer to his community. In his journey as a community leader, he has fought and still fighting for his people despite his old age. The 86-year-old house in Ebutemeta is a mecca of some sort. Many troops there to tap from his wealth of experience. I was interested in politics initially. But when I went into community development, I saw it's a different thing altogether. And it's so interesting that you meet different types of characters in community development. And you meet so many problems. So you must be tolerant if you are a community leader. Some will talk to you rudely, 
some members of the community, some will address, address you the way you don't like, but you must endure. But it's very interesting to be a community leader because you will be happy that you are working for your community. And to God be the glory, I stand out as one of the best leaders in mainland local government or Yaba Local Government Development Authority. And I can say that I am the only chairman who single-handedly got a transformer from Lagos State Government for its community. But that is why they admire me anywhere I go in the community. They know me as Baba Body. They don't know my surname. But if you come to Ebitometa today, stand at Adekule Junction there and say, do you know one tall Baba like this? He was one CDA chairman. They call him Baba Body. They'll bring you to my house. And much admired, not in all cases. So you'll find one or two that will be saying, oh, Baba, yeah. oh, CDA, oh, oh, no, I had it. They say it. So that is it. You must accommodate if you're a community leader. His role in the community endeared him to both young and old that described him as an upright and disciplined leader. Our friendship actually impacted on me because he's the one, is the inspiration for my coming to the Community Development Association. I wasn't a member and he, through his own activities and I was all the time following him about. I was able to study him. I know how things work fine. It's a person who believes in freedom of worship. At the same time, he, toler he tolerates no nonsense. He's a straightforward person. Very blunt and uh, accommodating. He never used any community money to buy anything for himself. Instead, he used the one that the people I see son sent to him from London to finance the community. He, he brought water borehole to this area. He's among of the people who do the Olanika Street. When asked how his family feels about his passion for community development, he made a funny remark. Uh, they don't blame me for doing anything. But at times, if I'm going to a meeting, they'll say, if I'm going to a PCRC meeting or CDA, they'll say, hey, Joko Arahinje, kill Shembe. Don't, don't worry me. I know what I'm gaining there. That's all. To Chief Olajide Victor Akinrele, Governor Akinwumi Ambode is not a politician, but an angel sent to develop Lagos communities. Ambode leadership is right. He's, he's doing what he feels he should do. It cannot be 100%. Something happened about two months, or almost two to three months ago. The sawmillers at uh, Okubaba, in fact, they were guilty. Bringing lorry to the, on, the, on top of the third mainland bridge, loading planks on the bridge. He gave them warning the first time, the second time he closed the sawmill. These people suffered for about two months. They sent emissaries, uh, sent people to go and beg him. I think the last person that went to him was Adeboe. And after Adeboe's intervention, it took him about a month before he opened the place about three weeks ago. Today is three weeks. He's a policy man. But as I am telling you now, some people will say, oh, he's a wicked man. We define opinion. He's trying. He had never been a politician. This is his first time. He was a civil servant. I would say he's not trying.